Wow, everybody, welcome to a brand new show right here on the H.B. Gibson channel, trying something different, a reaction video series called Saturday Night Chiller. That's right, we take a look at random scary videos on YouTube and react to them. So, sit back, relax, get yourself some snacks. I know, that sounds familiar. As we take a look at some scary videos, this one from a channel called Bizarre Bub. Make sure you subscribe to that channel if you like scary videos. I have a link in the description below, and there will also be a video link at the end of this show. So without further ado, the very, very first video on the brand new show, Saturday Night Chiller. Here we go. Now in this first video, a custodian working the night shift at a school that just happens to be built on top of a cemetery discovers some paranormal-ish going on. Here we go. On November 24th of 2023, a school janitor is walking through an empty hallway that other custodians don't like being in during the night shift. The high school where this video takes place doesn't allow students to be alone inside this hallway after a specific time. Doesn't and he look like reason, Corey a little bit? The school was built on a cemetery. Throughout the school, photos of the old cemetery can be found displayed on the walls, including fragments of headstones that were once there. Mm. Janitors claim that the place is haunted. One night, a school custodian decides to record a video after having a strange encounter. Mm. But as he records, something happens that terrifies him beyond belief. I bet. This is his video. Watch. Uh-oh. All right, I, um, I usually don't record while I'm on the job. Um, but this is freaking me out. It's sort of unreal. I'm here <laughs> at work. I'm here in the janitor's closet. Uh, you can hear the terror in his voice. Yeah, let me just show you guys. Just so, I don't know, let you guys know this school was built on a cemetery. Um, yeah. I don't know if that helps my situation or not, but. Uh, no, it doesn't. Previous janitors that have worked here have tried to tell everyone that, you know, every night something happens, some, some spooky shit, I don't know, paranormal <laughs> or whatever you want to call it, but. Yeah, I didn't really believe them until tonight. Um. I was in here cleaning up after some students had thrown a party, but um, what's been freaking me out is this one right here. Um, no matter where I'm at in the classroom or what I decide to do, it just follows me. And oh no, do your thing, you stupid balloon. It, it is. It, it is a balloon. I got you on camera now, so let's just. Uh, oh mm, no! Whoa! See? Whoa, whoa! That right there. Um. You know, I'm going to share something with you guys after this is over. Because something very, very similar happened to us Just with this. Ooh, okay. Dude. 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 No, no, no. Hey, listen, like it just, I said, it just follows me no matter what. Th this, yo, this has to be real because something, I'm telling you, something. No, I can't. Whoa, 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 whoa. As the janitor whoa, walks whoa. out of the classroom, a red balloon starts to follow him. But further adding to the weirdness of this incident are the other balloons. For some reason, the other balloons stay in place while yeah. this one follows him. Feeling immensely unnerved, he backs away slowly before suddenly capturing this. Ooh. No, I can't. Oh. A dark Ooh. figure appears in the background. This mysterious silhouette is only seen for less than a second as it seemingly runs by at full speed. It bolts away before disappearing from sight. 
This alone was enough to make the janitor clock out immediately. Now there haven't been any updates, except for a video in which the janitor talks about being scared to work alone now. But whether ghost or not, this whole incident continues to replay in his head. Like I said, I haven't been back here to touch anything. Son, that balloon is like right there. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I'm, I can't, I'm not doing that. So then, just what exactly was caught on camera? With no further info, it seems that this question remains unanswered. What, what, what? Yo, listen, 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 listen up. I mean, seriously. No, I'm, I mean, on the real, on the real. Guys, gals, I'm telling you, I am telling you right now. Something very, very similar happened to us here at the house. Um, my mother, uh, I bought her a, a, a Mother's Day balloon, right? And um, it's it, and it was in her room for like a long time. You know, she she keeps it around. And um, sometimes she will take her uh, uh, TV remotes and will tie them to the string so that way she doesn't lose it. Well, she didn't have this one tied to the remotes this time. It was one of those big, uh, like foil looking balloons. It said, Happy Mother's Day on it. And she called me downstairs. She wasn't frightened or anything like that. She was like, she was like, Harold, I want you to take a video of this. So I took the video and the balloon just seems to be floating around at random around the room. And then it came out of the bedroom, out the door and proceeded to go up the stairs and went into my ladies and my bedroom in our bedroom. And it went and it literally went in front of the TV set as if it were looking at us. As I was going upstairs, it followed me upstairs, followed me into the bedroom. She was freaking out. I was freaking out. Maybe not, we weren't like going crazy, but we were just like stunned at the whole thing. And the balloon literally stopped in front of us, in front of the TV, as if it were trying to get our attention. And then, you know, I prayed, and, you know, I asked, you know, I was, I was like, God, listen, you know, whatever this is, uh, you know, in, in, in Jesus name, whatever it is, you know, if it's not like you, uh, let it be gone, you know, uh, you know, uh, but if this is you trying to get our attention, you, you have our attention. It then turned and it left the room and it went into the bathroom and then came back out, came back into the room again, and then went into like, we have a utility closet next to the, uh, next to the bedroom. And that's where it stayed. And uh, that was it. And if, <laughs> no, no joke. That happened to us. All right. Let's take a look at the next video. All right. Now, this video is from a channel called Creepy Cam. I don't know what's on this video. I did not read any kind of a synopsis. This is just completely random. So here we go. In an unsettling video shared by Fox 11 Los Angeles on August 17, 2021, a mysterious white van becomes the focus of grave concern. Eyewitnesses filming from an elevated vantage point captured the harrowing scene below. Please be advised, the content is deeply distressing. What? What? What happened? Stop! Stop! Distinct, terrified screams of a woman emanate from the van, pleading for assistance. Amidst her cries, a man's voice can also be discerned, though his words remain indistinct. Frantically, the individual capturing the footage implores someone off camera to dial 911. After what feels like an agonizing eternity, the van's door is forcefully shut and it speeds away, leaving behind a slew of unanswered questions and a palpable sense of dread. Witness! What is going on? 
Yo. I have a video. I have a video. Yo. I'm trying. On April 5th, 2020, an alarming incident unfolded high above. A group of skydivers, taking the leap from 10,000 feet, initially the? seemed to be experiencing a routine jump. Yeah. But as you'll see in this footage, events took a terrifying turn. Whoa! Whoa! One of them, Scott Davis, inadvertently crashed into another skydiver, oh. causing the latter to lose consciousness in midair. Oh no, in oh an no. Act of incredible alertness and bravery, the cameraman managed to reach the unconscious skydiver, pulling his parachute cord and oh. undoubtedly saving his life. Wow. The very thought of what could have transpired is deeply distressing. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wee wow. Oh, oh man. I don't know. I, I, I kind of got second thoughts about skydiving now. But anyway, this next video, I know a little something about it. Okay. This is also from the Bizarre Bub channel. Make sure that you subscribe. They have some great, scary videos. Okay. This one here, if you're a little squeamish about, uh, possessed dolls you might find this video a little disturbing here we go a babysitter is looking after a girl who in the video can be seen playing with her toys what you doing over there yeah <laughs> nice the reason for filming this video is because it was just earlier that the five-year-old had said something very creepy to the babysitter he films this video to record what she said take a look um, what was it that you told me earlier about your doll? When I, when I had to take when my doll, it moves. Oh, when You said it moves? Yeah. It moves, y'all. That doll? This doll? Yeah. That. Whoa. It, you said it moves? Like you move it or? No, dude, it moves by itself. Wait, when, when does it move? When it's a hide and seek order. Yeah. When you play hide and seek? Yeah, that that, yeah. that, that doll doesn't look very uh, kosher. <laughs> See the way it's slumped over? That this creepy looking doll apparently comes to life when you play with it. But according to the child, it only moves if you play hide and seek with it. Now the child is only five, that so it could be that she was speaking from her creepy. imagination. But this notion didn't stop the babysitter from seeing if it was true. Curious to see if the doll actually moves, the babysitter plays a game of hide and seek. Okay. As he plays, he records it. I'm playing hide and seek. All right, here we go. Looks like we're gonna see if it moves. Okay. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Yo. What? Oh my god. Sandy, you scared me. Don't do that, dude. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, Although whoa. Although quite whoa. a jump scare, the sitter would much rather be scared by a dog than a haunted doll. Thankfully, as he says, it didn't move. Now, while it may seem that nothing unusual occurred Damn, during this yo, night, that something that happens me, later yo. that scares the sitter to his core. According to him, the five-year-old had just been put to bed when suddenly he sees this. Like, I noticed the dog has been... Yo, the dog is totally looking at the doll. Now, you know animals are sensitive to paranormal activity. You guys do know that, right? Yo, if that doll moves, man. Yo, for some reason, animals are the not dog stupid. stares at the doll for more than a few minutes. Even weirder is that they stare at it from a distance. It's as though they're afraid of getting close. Given what was said yeah. about the doll, this strange occurrence is made creepy. But fast forward to just a few hours later, and something way creepier is caught on camera. The sitter is taking a nap inside a room when, out of nowhere, a faint noise comes from the living room. 
Mind you, the living room is where the doll was last seen. The sitter promptly wakes up and begins to record. This is what he caught. Okay, I think we're about to see some movement. All right. It is moving. What? <laughs> Yo. Strangely, a toy inside the living room goes off on its own, but next to the toy is what appears to be the doll. It seems to be in the same position as before, until it's not. If you look closely, you'll notice that the doll starts to move on its own. It appears to be lifting its head slowly, as if trying to make eye contact with the camera before Yo. quickly falling over. The babysitter, who at this point has seen enough, hurries out in a state of terror. The doll, as it seems, had come to life. Despite Yo. that there isn't a follow-up video to this incident, one can safely assume how the sitter felt throughout the night. But as with all videos, I'll let you be the judge on this whole encounter. Yeah. Did the babysitter actually capture footage of something paranormal? Or might there be another explanation for this? It may just be that this video remains a mystery. Yeah, uh, I don't know what you guys think. What do you guys think, man? I mean, do you think that maybe that might it might have been um manipulated or something like that? Uh, do you really really think that that the, that the doll moved on its own? I mean, it could be possible. Stranger things have happened. Now we're gonna take a look at one more scary video before we leave, and you be the judge as to whether it's real or not. But so far, so good. Pretty creepy. A couple is inside their kitchen when something pretty terrifying is caught on camera. The following video comes from Crystal and Damien, who both live happily in the house of their dreams. They had bought their home a few months ago before recently becoming engaged. To the couple, this house has become an important part of their relationship, as without it, their bond wouldn't be as strong. Although happy to be the property owners of this new house, there's something about this place that spooks them just a bit. Sometimes, Things would happen that neither Damien nor Crystal could explain. For this reason, they've set up cameras throughout their house to capture video evidence of the strange occurrences. In return, they would have solid proof that what they're experiencing isn't just in their heads, but in fact, something real. It goes without saying, but what they've captured has left them deeply unsettled. No On August 6 of 2022, a security camera inside their hallway captures this. It's worth noting that it was past midnight when this happened. Take a look. All right. What's going on? Whoa. Nobody's knocking like outside the door or something like that. Maybe somebody's outside. Dude. Nobody's outside. See anybody in there, man? Okay, fast forward. Anything? Dude, I'm totally paying attention. I don't see anything weird. I mean, whoa. Okay, whoa. Well. Although not really sure what to make of this, except that it might have been someone pranking them or some crazy Probably. person banging on their door late at night. 
It's the following video that scares him the most. The couple is inside the kitchen when this is captured. I don't want to keep hanging out with your friends if that's how it's going to make me feel at the end of the day. Like, it, it feels more like... They don't mean to do... They, they're not, they're not like, planning on, you know... They do you don't, know how it feels to hang oh out with a group God. of people? And they don't even want you there. Like, like, they do like, want you there. They're only there they because want you there. They, they like, like you. you a lot. No, they don't. They That's like, the only reason. They like, yeah, they like me. They're my friends. Okay, Friends, but they become they're my but but they like you a lot. They're acting rude to me. They're not They're not trying that's just how they Whoa. I don't blame her. Whoa. Yo Hey. Just as the argument was getting Son. intense, a plate from one of the cabinets falls on its own. Following that, another plate falls by itself, but not before being flung toward Damien. It's almost as though whatever had chucked it had done so to end the argument between the two. Yeah. But, as if that wasn't creepy enough, this next video is by far the creepiest. It's late at night and Crystal's alone at home. We can see her scrolling through her phone when out of nowhere, this happens. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. For real? Yo, the door just opened up just like, like that. This is not just. Yo, that door just opened up just, 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 just like, whoa. Yo. Perhaps thinking that Damien had come home from work early, she waits for him to appear. But seconds pass, and no one is seen. Damien isn't there. Understandably, Crystal was shaken up. Yeah. But it seems that this incident wasn't as scary to Crystal as the most recent occurrence. It's not known what exactly happened, but it's evident that whatever had just occurred has left the couple no choice but to leave their house. In a recent video, yeah, yeah. Damien explains the situation. Yeah, we're just, so we're um, just outside because it's getting weird in there and we don't feel yeah. safe being in there anymore. So we're just gonna go to a, just an Airbnb for the night and uh, just for the night. Yeah. And then we're gonna figure out what to do. Wow. The activity has become so intense that they can no longer live happily inside their house. Sadly, they have no choice but to leave behind their dream home in the hopes that things would settle down. Feeling hopeless, they book an Airbnb and spend the night there. However, the following night, they decide to return home and try something that would hopefully solve their problem. Okay. According to them, by doing a seance, they can reach oh, out to the dumb. supposed spirit That's that is haunting dumb. their house and ask it to leave. They do just that and record the entire process of the seance. Little did they know, this would be a bad idea. Yeah. This is their video. A seance? Are you kidding me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just conjure up more spirits. Why don't you? Just, just, just agitate them. Okay. See, that's what they messed up. They messed up right there. They messed up right there. Okay, close your eyes. 
y'all don't even know what y'all doing. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> Yo. All right, it's a little, it's a little too quiet. Um, this has to be the worst idea in the history. Okay. I think maybe he did that uh, as part of the seance, hitting the, the dong. Or is it a sound effect? I don't know. Yo. This has got to be be the stupidest thing that you could ever do. Okay. Yeah, 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 y'all messed up bad. All of a sudden, the shower door begins to shake on its own. With this, the couple rushes out of the bathroom, understanding that something had gone wrong with the seance. Uh -huh. Terrified by the incident, they leave the house and return to the Airbnb. To the couple, the safest plan for now is to stay away from home. Given what's happened, this is probably a better idea. But until they come up with another solution, their house remains abandoned. So then, with all that's happened, just what exactly is going on inside their house? Until any updates are given, it seems that this question will have no definitive answer. But as always, what's your stance on this? Paranormal or not? You be the judge. Word, bro, 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 bro. Listen, I'm not the one to tell anybody how to live their lives uh, spiritually, but uh, you don't want to mess with spirits like that. <laughs> From my experience, you know, uh, you know, you you just don't want to mess around with 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 stuff like that. So uh, just you know, judge yourselves accordingly. I'm H. B. Gibson. This was the first episode of Saturday Night Chiller, scary video reactions. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.